Right behind me is example 1-8, um, which is very simple. It's simply to show you how to play the parrot game. The rhythm is not very complicated. Let's, uh, let's look at it and count it off. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, silent, 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 silent. All of that space is so that you have time to think up your response. In this case, you're just playing back a perfect replica of what you just heard. In fact, you might call this the playback game instead of the parrot game. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And during this silent time here, the uh, player is getting the next example ready to play for you. Also, gives you time to um, to clear your mind before you listen to the next example. Now I'll play through the whole thing as if I was both the player and the pl and the parrot. Okay, in order to keep it simple, I'm going to play one chord here for the player, and then I'm going to change chords for the parrot so you can hear some kind of contrast between the two parts. Uh, let's make it um, an E major for the player. Sounds like this and a B7 for the parrot. All right, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That brings us to this point right here, and now it's the player's turn to come up with a new example, which you can read right off of 1-9. Uh, or, if the player is an enterprising uh, student, uh, he can make up, uh, or she can make up, uh, a new rhythm, new rhythms that aren't on the, uh, aren't in example 1-9, and that would be a good thing to do. Okay, here's an extra that isn't isn't on your page, but what if this uh, was uh, instead of the parrot game Q and A? Question and answer. In that case, we don't have parrot and player. We have questioner and answerer. And this part would be improvised. Now that's much more challenging because you have to have a good sense of what two measures sound like before you play it. With any old rhythm you might think up, but otherwise everything's the same. You still have the think time. Now sections are really important uh, to co a composition of pop songs, so let me play a round of Q and A. Same rhythm up here, different rhythm here. Uh, I'll use a B7 chord here and an E major chord here. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's Q and A. Now let's let's see what it would be like if we were playing as if. Now as if resembles Q and A, you still have some um, other actor giving you a question, something to respond to, but this time you respond as if you're feeling something or as if responding to an image that you have in your mind. Uh, this is a game that actors play in order to get ready for scenes, uh, to go back in their memory and remember a time when they had an emotion similar to the one they're supposed to be portraying. And um, after they dive deep into that emotion, they're ready to play the scene. Now, the way music is usually taught, um, 
it's almost like mathematics and you don't uh, emote while you compose and yet we're songwriters so we're supposed to be emoting so let's play as if now I'm when I come to as if I'm I used to surf a lot on the California coast so I'm just gonna think of um, I'm just gonna think of a day at the beach see what happens that's probably easiest for me to conjure up there were so many days at the beach all right, here we go. I have absolutely no idea what's going to come out. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, why did I use triplets? To me, they sound like waves. Okay. There's no right or wrong here. You can't, you can't do anything wrong. And um, simply do it and make it part of your natural thinking process. Now, the word game can be played solo or with somebody um, giving you something to respond to. Remember, in the word game, you're simply getting used to vocalizing while you play a rhythm. You don't have to use real words. You can use one syllable if you want to, like la, which is what I will do here. Or you can use nonsense uh, syllables, or if you want to actually uh, use words, you're not obligated to make sense. You could just spill out, uh, you can just uh, talk jabberwock talk, like Lewis Carroll. Twas Brillig and the Slithy Toves, Dick Geyer and Gimbal in the Way, that kind of thing. Okay. Words. <clears throat> I'll play solo on this rhythm here. One, two, three, four. La. Okay, I extended the la on this measure by uh, extending the vowel sound. La, a, 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 la. Uh, that's something you should get used to because um, if you start a new syllable on every note, your, your lyrics are going to sound extremely choppy and you won't be taking um, advantage of a tremendous expressive resource which is goes by the technical name uh, melisma. That's where you extend one syllable over several notes by dragging out the vowel sound. Okay, I think that um, that covers the word game, the as-if game, the Q&A game, and the parrot game. <laughs>